Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to nibs home school this is mohammad imdadul haq assistant teacher of mathematics national ideal english version school day shift the students today i am going to conduct a math class of class 7 our today's topic is exercise 6.2 question 29 the students this is a creative question this question i'll solve in this class okay dear students let us see the question Question 29 A equal to 1 by x square plus 3x B equal to 2 by x square plus 5x plus 6 and C equal to 3 by x square minus x minus 12 are 3 algebraic expressions First question A Factorize the denominator of fraction B Second question B Express a, B and C as fractions with equal denominators. Question C. Simplify A plus B minus C. Dear students, let us see what is our solution. Solution of first question A. The question is factorize the denominator of fraction B. So at first we can write the fraction B given. b equal to 2 by x square plus 5x plus 6 here the denominator is x square plus 5x plus 6 so we have to factorize this okay dear students so you can write here denominators of b denominators denominator of b equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 we have to factorize this expression the students observe that here index is 2 here index of x is 1 here is no variable so as the index is half of the first term index is half in the second term of the first term index of first term so we can apply and the last term is constant so we can apply the middle term factorization here so we can write the middle term as two terms now to write this we can apply a technique we can factorize six at first if we factorize six two and three these two factors we will get here so we can say 2x and 3x and if we add this two we will get 5x so we can express this as x square plus 2x plus 3x plus 6 now we can write here take x as common from first two terms x and x will remain in the first term and in the second term it will remain now use plus sign and take 3 as common from the two terms we will get x plus 2 so we will get x plus 2 and x plus 3 so this is our answer of question a we can write the answer of question a that is x plus 2 into x plus 3 Okay, now I will solve question B. <coughs> Express A, B and C as fractions with equal denominators. Okay, dear students, at first write the fractions given. A equal to 1 by x square plus 3x. Dear students, here we can factorize or we can write here only given fraction then b equal to we can write 2 by x square plus 5x plus 6 and c equal to we can write here 3 by x square minus x minus 12 this is given now to express these three fractions we into fractions with equal denominator we have to do the lcm of the denominators of a b and 
C. To draw the LCM of the denominator of A, B and C, at first we have to factorize these three denominators. So, we can write denominator of A here, denominator of A. that is x square plus 3x if we factorize we will get here take x as common you will get x plus 3 then denominator of b that is x square plus 5x plus 6 we have factorized this in part a so we can write the answer directly x plus 2 into x plus 3 if you want you can give a side note from a from a okay now we can write and denominator of c Denominator of C is x square minus x minus 12. Dear students, this is also middle term. So, we can consider here 12, take 2, 6, take 2 again 3. To reserve 4 and 3, difference is 1. So, we can express this as x square minus 4x plus 3x minus 12. Take x as common from first two term you will get x minus 4 then take plus 3 as common you will get x minus 4 x minus 4 take as common then x plus 3 will remain so we can say we have done factorization of the denominators of a b and c now we have to do the lcm of the denominators so we will do the LCM of the denominators. Therefore, LCM of the denominators. That will be this two ends. Now, see here. Here, A is x into x plus 3. B is x plus 2 into x plus 3. x plus 3 is common here. And in c x plus 3 also common here so x plus 3 is common but x is uncommon x plus 2 is uncommon x minus 4 is uncommon dear students when we will do the lcm we have to take all the factors which are common and uncommon so we can write here at first x then x plus 2 x plus 3 and x minus 4 this is the lcm of the denominators of given fraction now i have to write the first fraction a now a what is the fact fraction here 1 by x square plus 3x this is given the students we can write this in this way x into x plus 3 now dear students you have to notice that as we have to convert all the fractions with equal denominator that then we have to divide the LCM divide the LCM by each denominator and we have to multiply both the numerator and denominator by the quotient the students if we divide this this one and this one will vanish as x plus 2 and x plus 4 will be the quotient so we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by x plus 2 and x minus 4 here denominator is x into x plus 3 so we have to multiply this also by x plus 2 and x minus 4 now if we multiply what will we get we will get x plus 2 if we multiply this by 1 this will remain same so we can write x plus 2 and x minus 4 in the numerator and denominator will be x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x plus 
sorry x minus 4 okay dear students i have done first fraction a now second fraction b fraction b is 2 by x square plus 5x plus 6 this is given so we can write this accept this we can write x plus 2 into x plus 3 after factorization of the denominator now the students now see we have to divide the lcm by this denominator if we divide x plus 2 and x plus 3 will vanishes so x and x minus 4 will remain this is 2 not 1 now we have to multiply this 2 by x and x minus 4 so we can write x into x minus 4 here the denominator is x plus 2 and x minus x plus 3 now we have to multiply by x into x minus 4 so we will get the required answer that is 2x into x minus 4 and here we have to write x into x minus x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 okay dear students i have done b now i have to solve c so you can write and as this is the last fraction 3 by x square minus x minus 12 this is our given fraction so we can write here 3 by after factorization of this denominator we can write x plus 3 into x minus 4 now we have to divide the lcm by this denominator if we divide this to vanishes so x into x plus 2 will remain so we have to multiply 3 by x into x plus 2 here the denominator is x plus 3 and x minus 4 so we have to multiply this also by x into x plus 2 as this is the question so we can write the plus fraction after calculating this 3x into x minus x plus 2 3x into x plus 2 now we can write here x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 dear students notice that the denominator of fraction a is x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 denominator denominator of fraction b is x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 denominator of fraction c is x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 the students now see denominator of these three fractions are same or equal so we can say we have converted all the three fractions into fractions with equal denominators okay dear students so our required answer should be these three fractions so we can write the answer for question b that is x plus 2 into x minus 4 divided by x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 now the second fraction 2x into x minus 4 here x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 and the next one is 3x into x plus 2 divided by x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 okay dear students this is our answer of question b now i will solve question c okay let us see the question c The students question c is simplify a plus b minus c we have to simplify this okay dear students we can write given question c given a equal to 1 by x square plus 
थ्री एक्स बी इक्वल टू टू बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स एंड सी इक्वल टू थ्री बाई एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ यू कैन राइट देर फोर ए प्लस बी माइनस सी ओके पोर्ट द वैल्यू ऑफ ए ए मीन्स वन बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स बी मीन्स टू बाई एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव एक्स प्लस सिक्स माइनस सी मीन्स थ्री बाई एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस एक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व ओके डियर स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी हैव सीन द फैक्टोराइज फॉर्म ऑफ दिस डिनोमिनेटर्स सो वील राइट दैट वन बाई x into x plus three plus two by x plus two into x plus three. We have done this in question B. Okay, now three by x plus three into x minus four. Okay, now we have to calculate. Dear students, you know. To do simplification, to do simplification, you have to do the LCM of the denominators. Here, LCM of the denominators is x into x plus two into x plus three into x minus four. Okay, dear students. Now divide by these two. So this one and this one vanishes. So in the first case, we can write here x plus two into x minus Four and then addition sign given. Give addition. Here is two. So now divide by this two. In this case, this two vanishes. This one and this one will remain. So you can write two into x into x minus four. Now give the minus sign. What is here? Here is. X plus three and x minus four. This two vanishes. So only this one remains. Only this one remains. So we can write three into x into x plus two. Okay, dear students. Now just we have to calculate here. Here denominator is x into x plus two into x plus three in, in, into x minus four. Okay, now multiply. This two. If you multiply, you will get x square plus two x minus four x, then minus eight. Multiplying this two, you will get this, and then now multiply plus two x square, then. 2x and 4 minus 8x, then 3x and x square. So minus 3x square minus 6x. 3 to sir, 6x. Okay, now calculate. What will we get if we calculate? X square is positive. 2x square positive. And three x square negative, so this x square vanishes. Now two x positive, four x positive negative, eight x negative. So negative twelve x positive two x and negative six x. So we can say six x, eight x, and four x. Six, eight, fourteen, and four, eighteen. Eighteen x is negative. But two x is positive, so we can say minus sixteen x. Now here is minus eight, only one constant term. So we can write here x into x plus two into x plus three into x minus four. Okay, dear students, now see we can take minus eight as common. If we take minus eight as common, x will be two x will be positive here, and plus one will be here. 
so we can write here x into x plus 2 into x plus 3 into x minus 4 dear students this is our simplified form of a plus b minus c so this is our required answer dear students i hope you have understood our today's lecture and this question 29 is given as your homework this is your homework 28 keep practicing at home abide by your parents and do this homework and submit your homework on next sunday okay dear students keep practicing at home abide by your parents stay home stay safe see you again till then assalamu alaikum